Yo, what's up, love bugs? How are y'all doing? Hope you're feeling good. Hope your day is well. Hope everything about your world is splendid right now. <clears throat> Before we get started, I just want to um, address the elephant in the room. We need to talk about Kevin. Uh, yesterday, um, I talked a little bit about my my disapproval of lantern control, and I felt like a lot of people just jumped right in because um, this is obviously it's in response to the Pro Tour, but um, most of you, so it's kind of annoying because I feel like maybe 85 to 90 percent of you already know how I feel about Lantern. This isn't a new dialogue for me. This isn't new conversation. Um, but for some people that who who are just joining aren't aware. So for the people who aren't aware, I've I've always been on a on a campaign of being against lantern control i've not been a fan of the deck i've talked about it numerous times on stream that i do not like the deck i wish it wouldn't exist i don't believe it belongs in modern i don't believe it belongs in magic but the point being though is there's some people who maybe like jumped into a stream yesterday and just heard me talking about it and they're like oh the deck that wins the pro tour this guy's going to complain about it that is true in this exact moment but it's not because of, like, I, I like to think I'm reasonable about the game of Magic and the formats. It just so happens to line up this time, a, a deck I've been talking about for ages just happened to be around that conversation. So I'm not going to spend too long on that. I just wanted to clear that up and make it understood where I'm at with that. This isn't me responding to specifically a Pro Tour. It's just me responding to a deck that I've talked about for months and years at this point now. Uh, eventually doing something like this, and it, it, it's whatever. Okay, so we played a little bit with this yesterday. I've, if you haven't seen yesterday's stream, go take a peek at it. Let's get caught up. Um, but yeah, we're trying this red-white list. It seems pretty good. Dark Fleet Daredevil's pretty cool. I'm still on the fence on how many copies it should be, but by splashing red, like Death and Tax is getting access to a Snapcaster Mage is pretty good. Uh, the Magus of the Moons, I don't think two is right in the main deck, but I wanted to free up some slots in my sideboard. Um, so we're just going to be relying on Magus to either just jam and get killed right away and get value from it, or use our Smuggler's Copter to get rid of the additional copies. Mirror and Crusader, as much as like this one right now is a meta decision, I think it's going to end up finding its way out of the deck. Um... It's just weird because before, what did, what did I have? I think I had, if this was mono white, right, this would have been a third Thalia, and then these Mirren Crusaders would have been what? Eldrazi Displacers, right? So, like, that's kind of the argument is maybe those are just taking over that slot. I'm not sure. Like, we can't really use a Displacer in this shell particularly, so maybe those are just... The functional replacements for that card, but I don't know yet. We're gonna have to do that work. P and Kieran Nalar has been fantastic. It's way better than I ever remembered it. And then we put a resto here instead of the Johnny we had. The Johnny was just too too hard to get to the mana. It wasn't happening, so we flipped that back. Um. So yeah, the only thing I'm still looking at now is like this might need to like get a new identity, but whatever. We'll come back to that. Um, as far as the sideboard goes, the sideboard hasn't really been a good or bad thing yet. We're putting a Manic Vandal in here. Um, it's a flickerable target. Um, it's going to help us against what we expect in the format. Harsh Mentors seem pretty important. Um, and then everything else is pretty typical. The Path of Metal was actually really good. It was really, really good. I never really got it to flip. But it just coming down and pyroclasming my opponent's board and then having a the potential to flip usually was enough. So with that being said, um, I think we're going to take this into a league. I'm not sure how it's going to do, but it's worthwhile and it should be fun. So let's go jam into it. Um, do I have a roll call here? Is anybody here? Um, I thinking about putting some music on. I think I will. Yeah, let's put some music on. It's an early morning. Looks like you guys might just be coming along for the ride. So I'll keep it light, but let's definitely jam some tunes here. Let's do our good old faithful. Let's 
get our mellow beat seeking going. I actually think we should do a friendly league. Just because we want to get as many reps as possible with a deck that we're not really certain on yet, so let's do that. Alright, so let's see, we get to be on the play. Don't get to keep our hand though. I guess I guess we're keeping that. I guess we're keeping this, I don't know. Oh boy. the chat here. Let me back. Alright, this is gonna be Grixis Death Death Shadows. I think so. Uh, that's not good. And then Pretty much a no lander into an all lander with scrying lands on top. Let's see. Yep, I kind of assumed that was going to be the next land. The next one was going to be a land. This happens sometimes. Um, I'm just glad we're in a friendly league. When it does happen, sometimes you just get out shuffled. <laughs> So let's see what our lands deck can do here. Hopefully we get to play some cards, who knows. All right. <clears throat> so he's got, a, he's got a hand with Death Shadows or Snapcaster or he would have guaranteed done something. That's interesting. It's not a land, so I mean, it's pretty exciting. on Thalia, so should I at least get to hit one turn? But this game's not going very well. This game's 
really, really, really rough. If we draw Dire, we might be able to do something cool, like either Serum Visions or Thoughtseize, but we have to draw it. We have nothing. So here comes his Death Shadow, I'm sure. A 3 3 Death Shadow. Yeah. Yep. Oh, dude, come on. Getting a little out of control here. One was rough. I mean, we we only drew a, a spell. We've drawn lands every turn. I don't care what deck you are. You're, you're gonna lose every time that you do. Every time that happens, you know. draw our one Mirren Crusader? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, we were eventually going to draw spells. That's cool. So let's see. Yeah, we don't want lightning bolts. My fanatic's not good here. Um... want as many creatures as possible. I think we'll shave one vial. Alright, hopefully we can uh, have a hand that we can keep. That'd be cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. Maybe in our next round. Alright, let's try this. Um... Yeah, we'll keep that up top. At this point, we just need to actually have an archive of spells available to us. Not just sit here and fumble on just runner runner lands. Hopefully this is like a Thought Seize Serum Vision turn and not a Thought Seize turn. Alright, it's a Thought Seize turn. This is normally uh, a fine matchup, honestly. I think we uh, we have like the new pile shuffler jitters. Like I feel like you know, like you put a deck together, and then it takes a little bit of time for it to like you know do things. It's gotta like really get a nice deep shuffle going before it can like actually work. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to make an excuse for these bad draws. Little dismember, sure. He, had, he has had fantastic rips, too. We've had really subpar rips, and he's pretty much had the dream. What's up, Life is Bowling? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a long, long time. John Stone, what's up? You're doing good. All right. Um, I think we're gonna get two out here, but it's it's okay. about that. We'll take the hit for six. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's, it's, I mean, I don't really know anything about that guy, but I mean, Anytime somebody loses their life, especially in a community where they do have, um, you know, good impact on people, that sucks. So, shout out to him. Let's not do that. There's a couple lines we had here, but I, I just feel like he has fatal push and it's not worth it. Miguel, what's up? Dude, what is going on? Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not sure. You've been gone a while. I'm not sure what's good or what's bad. A P and Kieran Nalar would have been good. I mean, there's a lot of cards that would have just been really good right there. But, I mean, we just, we've just hit nothing but lands in this match. Which, honestly, it's a, it's a little bit in the abstract. That's not atypical here, but it's going to happen. But, I mean, we did this exact same match yesterday and 2 would our Def Shadow opponent. Um, but we didn't we didn't flood like this. I mean, we've seen three spells. I'm, I'm sorry, we've, we've played three spells. We've had four, but we got disrupted through it. We just were flooding hard. All right, if he double strikes us, we're dead. Okay, no double strike. 
So what is it that he would have here? Playing the Thalia pre-combat lets him just actually, um, he can make more decisions. He can actually kill Fiend Hunter and set up another line if he has it. There, I'm at least forcing him to show me, um, an out, but do it in a worse way for him, if that makes sense. Alright. <sighs> we'll have to see. I don't know. Yep. Alright. Jeez, dude. I, I think I only have 22 lands in the deck. I'm not sure. Let me double check because... If I built a deck room, that's gonna suck. Now it's 22 lands. So, um, we haven't drawn any spells actually. I think that both those games we drew the same exact cards and put this relatively the same amount of permanents on board. So, whatever, it happens. I'm not salty. I just was, I don't know, I wanted to play some of our cards so we could see how they worked, but we didn't really get anything going there. Yeah, we put the um, resto in there. We're just not getting enough times. Well, I mean, in that game, we hit four lands like it's our job. But um, most of the other games, we weren't hitting four lands. So I just felt like it was better to have a vile target. Right. We're on the draw with a pretty slow hand, but we'll see what happens. No, we're in a, we're in a league right now. Which is usually... You usually can tell I'm in a league because I start getting like really abstract hands, like hands that just don't ever happen. <laughs> but those are the business. Sure, so another Death Shadow opponent. Cool. All right, well, maybe now we'll have a way to filter some of the lands out of our deck. Maybe. I mean, if we keep getting hands like this, we might have to put the third uh, Smuggler's Copter back in here. I'm not sure. Death Shadow's normally not a problem. Like, literally the problem right now is like, we're, we're not drawing, like, we'll have to wait and see. Tassiger. Sure. I 
Oh, it's a Gurmak. Okay, same thing. And we haven't hit like the Dire Dare Fleet or whatever it's called, Daredevil. All right, there's a Thalia. That's something. All right. Which one do I like better? I like Mono White the best. I just think that we're in a spot now where it's enough reasons to test red. Um, like it's reasonable to be testing red. So that's kind of kind of what we're doing here. <clears throat> Mono White's probably the best position at almost all the time right now. It's just really consistent. Um, we're just we're just checking all our different angles possible here, that's all. Coco, what's up? See if we can force some interactions here. Some interactions. See what it do though. Sure. So he's got to choose a color here, blue or black. Probably gonna choose black. Yep. I don't know if that's good enough for us on our end, but we'll find out. So blue's cut off. So that means there's no like pushing or anything like that taking place. He can still K command us, so that's kind of a concern, but whatever. Yo, what's up, Glitter? Is he a Tassiger? Another German game. Okay. I can't go as quarter to the swamp. All right, well, I think we can win now. He's at seven. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can win now. P and Kira Noir is just a dirty card. There's a part of me considering a gang block on a Gurmag Angler. But like if he does have like a Terminator or something, that blowout would just wreck us, so I'm probably gonna find the best chump blocks possible.
Because right, like if we put if we put Golem and Thalia in front of a Gurmag and he kills one, we lose five points of power. Whereas if I just put Blade Splicer and a Thopter in the way, that's better, I think. I think I put the splicer in front of one. I guess the concern is like if he has team or battle rage, right? But that's still not enough. So yeah. Let's go Kerplunk and Kerplunk. As such. You guys are right. I think this is the best line. Because making a blocker is not good enough anymore here, right? The old jump block. <laughs> living, the, living the dream here. Alright, well, Magus pulled its weight in gold here just now. And Pia Karen the Lar just also gave us tons of reach. Let's see what we got. <laughs> they do always have battle rage, like every single time. I don't know how he does that. I was like, dude, if you find a way through this, like. Is that game one or game two? I don't even know. Did we sideboard? We didn't sideboard yet. Alright, so... Against these guys. We want the rest in peace. We don't want the copters. We definitely want the fiend hunters. I think we're supposed to cut wisp. Um, bring the wisp back. Mod Fanatic doesn't seem good in this matchup. I think it's somewhere like that. I have, I've, so I've played with Lava Mancer before. I'm trying the Mog because it can kill right away. So turn one, our opponent plays a Noble or something. We can kill it on the same turn. We can kill Champion of Paris right away. So yeah, I'm still giving it a shot. Um, it hasn't been bad yet. Oh my god, come on deck. We're going to keep it. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Woo! <laughs> that was about to be really scary. But yeah, this Red Splash, like... It has, it has, it has such good opportunity. It's not like a really clear, easy list. Like this list is probably the hardest list I've had to look at in the abstract. Dude, he's probably reading Dire Fleet Daredevil like, what in the world? <laughs> um, there's really some cool stuff to look at with Dire Fleet Daredevil too. Is um, With Vile, we get to flash it in. It's got First Strike. And it exiles the card right away. So that means, like, even if we don't use it, the opponent never has access to it again. Yeah, Bomb Mat Carrier is another card that I gave a test run. And it was, like, borderline. The problem is it needs exact scenarios, like, exact turns for it to be good. And I just don't like cards like that where it's, like, I gotta have the right mana... I have to have the right circumstance, and I have to catch the opponent off guard exactly this way. It just is too much work. <laughs> he won't be. He's going to have the K command as they always do, right? Oh, come on, deck. What is this? What is this? Come on. Stop it. No. Triple tech edge? Really? Come on. Stop it. Not even like not even Ghost Quarter? Like Tech Edge, really? Exactly Tech Edge? Uh, 
<laughs> yep. Oh. Dude, I would even take an opt from the opponent right now. I, I wouldn't be mad at that. Like a free opt. Yeah, exactly. Turn six trick techie. Oh boy. Okay. Ooh, it's getting spicy. It's getting real spicy, boys. There's a meatballer coming. <laughs> oh, spicy meatball. <laughs> the spiciest meatball. Give me that thought, Seize. That's my thought, Seize. That's right. Think about it, but you can't do anything about it. That's her grabbing the thought seize right there. <laughs> Oof. I need milk. Dude, is he about to try and like eat his own yard? I don't mind paying the two life. Paying the two life is fine. Oh, he's gonna dismember her? Oh, spice! <laughs> That's fine. I can still cast a card. That does not stop that from happening, my friend. <laughs> I'll pick colorless. Alright, so let's see here. Um, the hell by force. Snapcaster, Kozilek's Return. These are all really weird situations to have to try and figure out. I think we're going to take a Death Shadow. Oh, that's annoying. So, here's a by force, I'm sure. Yep. And then a death shadow. Cool. Alright. Woof. I mean, you, you can't really do much when your only <laughs> lands are your tech edges. Yeah, I mean, I could, what else was I supposed to do? I don't think I really had a lot of options there, sadly. Alright, so... We're not just dead, though, so that's good. Oh, jeez. Alright, I think we get one more turn, but it's not looking good. We were really close. We were real close. We're dead. The fetch kills us. Was that the match? Oh, fuck off. Did we lose the match? No. I was going to say, wait a minute. Come on, deck. Like, stop. The fuckery is unreal. With this fucking magic online shit. <laughs> the fuckery is so real. Alright, let's run it back. There's no changes to be made. Yeah, dude, like this, it's such bullshit. Oh, yeah, you can have runner, runner, runner tech edges. Like, that's, that's, the, that's, that's how you shuffled. You shuffled and you drew three tech edges. Like, if I ever had the, the, the shuffles that happened in Magic Online in real life, it probably would have made me, <laughs> uh, like, this fuckery right here, dude, I probably would have quit the game a long time ago. Seriously, if, like, if this is what magic looked like on the reg. <laughs> yeah. 
it wasn't great. I just I have no options. Like I'm mulliganing and shuffling to just try and get hands I can keep, and I'm just I'm just not finding my way through these bad shuffles. I, I think I, I think I mulliganed every game we've played so far. That's that's the thing. I don't think that's true, Johnston. I think what were those cards would have been in the deck regardless. Um, I would have been flooding even more if you were here in round one. All I did was draw lands. So. So it's a concept, but it's not true. Um, my deck is mathematically sound. All right, that's going to the bottom. Don't have the luxury of just snapping that to the top. So here's the thing. Variance is real. Variance is always going to happen. Um, I work with Karen Zobel to really work on the probability. So before I put any deck together, I always look at it the math of the deck so the math on the deck is fine it's just sometimes you're not going to beat the shuffler the shufflers the shufflers part of the game too it's you versus the opponent and then you and your opponent versus the shuffle Default is 23 when you're cons considering the fact that a lot of decks are um, strip mining right away or wastelanding or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you're also assuming that you're playing a deck that has swords of fire and ice or batter skulls and whatnot. Uh, we don't have access to, that, access to that in modern, so it doesn't really do anything for us. Um, it's really more in legacy. Now, that said, if Stoneforge Mystic got printed in modern, where now we are trying to equip and swing and attach and do all this crazy stuff, then yes, that very likely could be true. But as of right now, it's not. For for this deck. The reason it was 23 with the Ajani list is because we had a 4-mana Planeswalker that sometimes costs 5-mana. So 23 would traditionally be the norm. Because we want to make sure we can strip mine and still cast that thing reasonably between 4 and turn 4 and turn 5. I hope that makes sense. Sorry, I... I can't really dive too deep into explaining the math just yet. Uh, K command, get wrecked. Death Shadower, double Death Shadowy. That's a lot of shadows. Okay. Put in bringers in the deck. <laughs> Don't tempt me. All right, hopefully his last card is just real bad. Like a real bad one. We'll find out pretty quickly here. Like if these things come swinging, we know what's up. Can't take him off red yet. Not yet. Looks like it's a Tassiger or something, maybe. That guy's fine. We're not too concerned about that guy. 
fine. Now we're getting close to start taking people off of mana here. Woo! Okay. All right. Let's see here. take him off everything now. Oh, jeez. So we hit him for six down to five. Then if he swings back, he dies. Okay. So now he has to have Kuzilek's return, right? Like it has to be Kuzilek's return or he's dead. Yeah, or Battle Rage, sure. I hope it's a land, you fucking fuck. <laughs> So let's think about this for a second. We're getting in up top for three. He puts blockers in front of these guys. Yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, no, that's the right play. I just wanted to double check my math and whatnot. I mean, now Teamer Battle Rage is the nut, but... So let's see here. If he has Teamer Battle Rage and double strikes the dude. Am I supposed to like put a bunch of stuff in front of here? Like am I supposed to do one of these? That way if he does double strike it doesn't kill us. <laughs> Have I tried blue? Um, well, I'm just trying to think here for a second. Here's the hard part is if he does have Kozilex return, then we just lose right here. So I think we have to we have to lose the team or battle rage. That's our options. I think we have to choose to lose the team or battle. No way. Okay. <laughs> No, so I think like if we so here's the choices we had. Right now we're playing. We would be the the team of battle rage is trying not to lose. The Kozilek is preventing us from winning. So I chose the route of I'd rather try and win the game than worry about how I'm about to lose this game. 
because I have nothing left. Like, if he Kozilek returned us after that, like, if I lost my Golem and then lost my entire board, he still has two Death Shadows after that. So. Cool. Alright. So, we beat a Death Shadow and we lost to a Death Shadow. What's going on here? Yeah, right? See what happens when you have spells in your deck? Alright, would you want to play first? Yes. Do I want to keep this hand? Not really. Dude, what is going on? Like, what's with the mono four drops? Oh, Jesus, dude. Alright, we're getting punished for the mountain now. Right, let's at least trick the opponent up for one full turn here, I guess. Splash for the to be oh dude is this more death shadow like come on this is this is outrageous okay cool yeah cool it's just burn our burn matchup's pretty bad right now too because I actually kind of figured burn wouldn't be popular for a little bit so we might just get steamrolled here. Again, I, I, this deck is 100% trying to address the meta. It's not just a default red white list yet. Um, if it was default, like Mirror and Crusader wouldn't be in here at all. Yada, yada, yada. I would definitely play five rounds of, uh, of uh, Death Shadow, hands down. Not even, not even a real question. Hey, look at that. Okay. That is fine. It's not fine, but it happened. Let's put it that way. Alright. Okay, sure. Spikes us. See, the weird thing with Eidolon is sometimes they can lock themselves out of the game if they're not careful. Yeah. Like, it's getting real sketchy for him right now. Trying to find a Thalia or an Arbiter. Ooh, that's an interesting one. And this is what I'm saying about Eidolon. Like, Eidolon can be real sketch. <laughs> like, he went from bolting on me to, like, he's, he's in trouble. Like, he's in a lot of danger now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the Goblin Guide. You can keep Idol on. I don't know what he thought his line was going to be there, but okay. Yeah, oh, dude, please let me find the Daredevil when it matters. I'm sure this is coming up top, which is unfortunate. Like, if I had a two-drop, we could probably be swinging back for lethal. 
before he could cast his burn spells. So I think our game plan here is to try and not die in these next two turns. I don't know. Shift through as much damage as we can without killing his Eidolon of Rhetoric. See if he starts throwing burning stuff our way. Jesus. Yep, so if he has another one, we could just be dead. Which is super annoying. Could. If he had another Boros Charm, we'd be dead. Please suspend Rift Bolt. Please just suspend a Rift Bolt. All right, that works too. Woo! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. All right, all right. Let's see here. Let's just do some basic math here. Time out. Let's just do some math. Pretty simple here. So three's coming through up top. Just want to make sure I do this right. I know it's probably a super simple turn, but I was so busy trying to keep the math on lock that I didn't pay enough attention. So three comes up through up top. He goes to four. Yeah, he's just dead. There's just not even math to worry about here. Get wrecked. <laughs> we got him. All right. Cool. So let's see here. We got our forge tenders. Um, and then I think we want lightning bolts. What do we not want in this matchup? I don't think we want copters or Magus of the Moon. I think it's like that. Although Magus could shut him off white, but I think that's two sideways. Mog does seem bad. I just don't know if I had a better choice. All right, well, this is a hand. It's a weird hand, but we'll keep it. It's aggressive, so there's that. Yeah. All right, I'll put the Magus back in if we lose. Oh, we got a Thraven. Oh, we just got Mono One Drops. This is perfect. So we're going to skip the um, the Vile for a turn. Just because at this point, it's just a uh, Shatter target for him. And we just want to uh, slow down the damage output that he has. Uh, can we put the card in here so I know what it is? Um, can you uh, hit exclamation mark card, yada, yada, yada? 
So we have a P and Karen Alar up top. Is he trying to make it so like Is he trying to make it so that he can whatever it's called? I'm gonna take the bait. You have to put card, so it's exclamation mark card and then the card name. There you go. Ooh, Daredevil. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Switcheroo, Beta Ruski there. We gotta get this out of here. Shouldn't be broken. Maybe that's not the way the card is titled. Maybe it's maybe it's not up and running, but that's not that's not me that controls that. Tap sack might be the problem there. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I'm going to be honest. All right, let's go ahead and just draw a card. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to take a deeper look at that. Right now is not the best time for me to do so. I want us to get a chance to actually do some good good work here, so I'm not going to really try and figure that one out just yet. Alright, so we have a skull crack. So we have five damage between our daredevil and his skull crack. Alright, that's totally fine. Totally happy to see that. Getting to an interesting spot here. Although I do think he's going to end up killing our Pia and Karen Alar here. But that's fine. block with a token. That's fine. 
Like, this is the thing I don't get with burn decks is like, I want your Eidolon out there as much as possible. <laughs> There's nothing that makes me happier than seeing your Eidolon out there. Ripple targeting who? P and Karen Alarm, sure. Makes sense. I get it. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead. Yes. Let's get your skull crack. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see what we can do here. This one's hard. I think I think this is the right play. We go to nine. I think this is right. got you. Swing. Down to seven. Wow, this dire fleet, man. Get this dude out of here. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. Oh, these are both sorceries. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's just do this now. That way he doesn't have access to Searing Blaze or whatever it's called. to the throat. Um, and for some of you guys who aren't normally on my channel, uh, a follow here or a subscribe on my YouTube will go a long way. Uh, we try and do dupe things here with fair decks um, and chill and vibe and try not to get partnered up against lantern control decks. 
but yeah your support would be appreciated we don't really ask for money or donations or anything around here we can we can afford our magic cards we just need more community we need more people so if you're here hanging out right now and you can hear me and you haven't already hit follow or subscribe to youtube man that's that's a shame on you it's a shame on you what are you even doing here <laughs> We has community. Dude, if you guys don't have your Dire Fleet Daredevils, you better go get them. Snapcaster for non-blue decks? Sign me up. Alright, this hand's keepable. Oh, baby, not Tron. All right, it is what it is. All right, cool, we're getting some toys. Let's, let's see how we fare up against the... Thanks, John. I appreciate you. I don't know why my uh, subscribe stuff isn't working. Like, usually Sailor Moon comes out and gives you a nice little spin and dance and says thank you. But, I don't know, uh, stream... Uh, Stream Pro or whatever, it's just been kind of goofy lately. Okay, he goes and gets Sanctum of Ugin, which means he has Tron. Which means we might have to take the turn off here. We're gonna take the power plant. It's like my new strategy now is like to go after power plant. He's at broke it. The villain. No, John, and I appreciate you. Um, and I don't mean it in like any kind of aggressive way. I just would hope if people are here hanging out, they could just do me that solid and show a little love. You know what I mean? That's all I meant by that. You're already here, just hit that little sub button, that little follow swagification. Thank you for what you're doing for us by being overseas too, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to play Arbiter or Smuggler's Copter here. We're gonna try Arby's. Alright, if we can find the oh stupid son of a bitch. Yeah. Yep. Of course you have Ugin. Sure. Such horseshit every single time. Right, I might be able to kill the Ugin here soon, though. I don't know. Oh shit, I meant to hit power plant, you fucker. You fucking dirty piece of shit. hate the Tron matchup. I'm just salty that I fucked up there. Step three, even inspector. Oh, 
fuck off. I don't know that I can ever beat this Ugin. I need to draw a Wisp to have a chance to beat it. How the fuck am I supposed to beat this Ugin? I'm scooping it, dude. Jesus, man. Yeah, we were just... There was no way we were going to get through that. Alright, so... Against these fucktards... We need this, we need this, we need that, and these. What do we not want? Don't want Mog Fanatics. Don't want Mirror Crusader. P and Karen Lala are cool, but we need to get closer to the ground, I think. Sadly, the Thraven Inspectors. Alright, we can be on the play, which should help a little bit here. <laughs> uh, Shuffler, you can go fuck yourself. Uh, we're keeping this. I think we have to, so... Hmm... Come on, opponent. Don't be shady. Rabbit, what's up? I will keep it. Oh yeah, get fucked, you asshole. Sorry, I get... So, I'm not actually mad at the opponent. I just get like this. Like, I'm just trying to, like, do my thing. I don't know. I'm an Eagles fan, I guess. <laughs> All right. Get fucked, my boy. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm surprised it's not runner, runner, aether vials. Oh, dude, watch. He's he's gonna nail it. Watch. He's gonna fucking nail it. <laughs> he's gonna get Tron and just slam a Walker. Or, or the Oblivion Stone. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. Th Ugh. Blade Splicer's good, but we have to keep choking him while he's low on cards. And, like, it, God forbid if he finds this bullshit, we don't want to get stuck. Give me a Ghost Quarter, you fuck. We're going to ignore that for the time being, I think. Yeah, Shuffler doing a bang-up job here right now.
<laughs> I want to play the opponent's cards. Let's do it. <laughs> this isn't even close to a like quote unquote correct play, but I want to play the opponent's card so bad. <laughs> come on come on let me play with your cards uh, with uh, at least we don't have to draw this stuff now alright <laughs> so, somehow we still were going to hit just like the most random cards Give me your cards. What are these hands? Like, st stop giving me the triplet hands, dude. Like, these are the sickest poker hands ever. Stop. I mean, I'm going to keep it because it has cards we want, I guess. But, like, come on, dude. This is... Uh -oh. Yeah, that's right. Life is bowling. I'm playing with the opponent's cards because my deck won't let me play with mine. Yep. Sure. Ugh. <sighs> No! Stop! No! Walking Ballista. Ugh. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Chromatic star, okay. These are all bad things for us. And we're just getting like these one ofs that like whatever. I don't even care. I'm over it. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Yep. Oof. Okay. What is this? Come on. If he has to push, he should just do it now, right? Yeah. Yep. Come on, Blood Moon or fucking... I don't know, Ghost Quarter, a Tech Edge, something, magic cards that aren't all my three drops. All that stuff would be cool, man. I'm just saying. Like, I'm down for any of that, dude. Just some of my magic cards. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> This is pretty expected. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. You're right. I did say not a three drop. I don't know. I was just hoping, like, you know, just like reasonable mix up, not just mono like top end curve cards but whatever it's all good yeah Ugin or Ulamog I mean whatever just do whatever the fuck you're doing yeah not a three drop semantics got me you guys are right all right we're just making an infinite sized ballista here it looks like cool yeah that ballista is humongous good good job
Which one did he go and get? Power plant. If I flickered it, he still goes off with this in response and kills my flicker wisp as well. So that's not better for me. What is going on here? Too late for Chopper. Sure. Sure thing. Fucking always finds like their Tron pieces perfectly. Another Oblivion Stone or no Expedition Map, sure, whatever. <sighs> Cruising gets Sanctum. Yep. And he has the push. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? Magic the Gathering, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Jesus. Dude, this is the most random game, dude. Ugh. No, 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 no! Oh my god. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Just like perfect grip city. This is it's absurd. It's, I mean, the good news is this mag has prevented Sanctum from just finding like nonsense. Well, there, there goes that. What are you doing? <laughs> what did he find? We can, yeah, that's just... Mm -hmm. Alright, 
You got it. I can't even. Jesus Christ, dude. Fucking hell. All right. I mean, the opponent didn't even take me out to dinner first, dude. Like, come on. That's the good thing about it, Tron, like, for them, is that they can just have shitty turn one through three. Like, their deck can just be the biggest pile it wants to be because once they hit turn four every every rip is just a perfect rip for them like they just non-stop just get it um i'd rather play against tron or yeah tron i don't hate tron dude so time out time time the fuck out dude hold up Hold the fuck up. Straight up, right now. You guys have been here for the majority of this. We have hit triplets in every single hand that we've played in this league so far. What in the flying fuck is going on, dude? Come on. <laughs> like, come on. Every single game, we've hit triplets. That's, like, are you guys really telling me that, like, that's, hey, that's how magic works. Like, that's, that's, that's real life. Just, I mean, if you guys tell me right now in the chat, like, yeah, dude, like, my hands look like this every single game. I'll say okay, and I'll never bring it up again. <sighs> dude. I'm not talking about the once in a while, dude. I'm talking every single game we've played today, this has happened. Not even that, dude. Every Literally, every hand we've had has done something like this, where it was like, game one in the first Death Shadow match was Triple Sacred Foundry. Like... <laughs> Alright. At least we get to play against Tron again. <laughs> Draw a duplicate here, Pythalia. I I don't know, Spider. I've I've been fighting the shuffler this whole time. It's like I'm trying to play magic and the shuffler's in the way. Yeah, it's just Dude, this is <laughs> It's silly. Like I'm not I'm not even mad. I'm just like really really like it kind of feels like uh I feel like a conspiracy theorist type person like you know like I feel crazy. Like I feel like a fucking crazy person. Like is there something wrong with me or like is this normal? Like, if you're straight up telling me, like, nah, man, like, this is just normal magic, like, get fucked. Cool. I just, I'm having a hard time understanding the triplets mod. Nah, dude, I, I've, I've turned all the mods off for this stream. Um, there's no Game Shark or Game Genie codes installed right now. Yep. Dude, I should be playing poker with these draws, dude. Alright, it's all drowsy Tron. Thank thank you. There's there is a God. There is a God. Sure.
<laughs> They're like, yeah, 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 none of that, none of that. Okay. Whoa. This guy's spice and hard. Alright, hopefully this works and isn't broken. Discard a card for a reality smasher. Okay, all right, so, or I just don't have to discard anything because this client is garbage. Sorry, Ops, like, that sucks, like, ugh. Dude, I know, I know. Keep taking power plants and hopefully be right one day. Yeah, I was supposed to have to discard a card to that smasher. But there's a bug. Well, there's a observable bug because there's tons of bugs in M MTGO's client, but... <laughs> it's a feature. That's right, I'm exploiting a bug. You guys caught me. Alice, okay. I feel like he should have gone after my mana there. sure if that's true or not. I mean, if you know my hand, it's true. Well, no, like, that'll work with any removal spell. So, like, if you try to, like, terminate it, it will let you do the same thing. Jesus. Okay. That's fine. We'll come back to that. I need to pay attention. I would have drawn Big Thalia, or maybe I still can, but, or even a Flicker Wisp would be good here. the opponent at? 
Don't snipe opponent. No sniping. No sniping, my boy. Ooh, bad move, my boy. It's okay, you're forgiven. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get better to just like hope it doesn't find something off the top. I think we just, uh, I mean, we're just stuck here. I don't even know if it's anything that the opponent's doing. I just, I'm just stuck. I haven't, I don't know how many cards I'm behind, but I feel really far behind. I need a wisp. God. Okay. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right. Three minute inspectors not good. Mock fanatics are not good. Iron Crusaders not great in this matchup. Shape of Thalia. Maybe we want Path the Metal sorta, not really. If it flipped it's good, but <sighs> that was uh I went a lot of turns fading drawing any cards. Fortunately for him, like I mean I, I probably shouldn't have been able to play that long anyway because of this uh, Blade Splice are supposed to be gone. All right, we'll keep this, but that's just frustrating on my end. Like, like without the, um, the advantage or whatever from the bug, like, still just not even drawing, like, reasonable cards on my side. Like, that's just, it was just frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I lost to the Shuffler and the opponent. off the top. Nope. Okay. So essentially we're tempering ourselves back a little bit here. Let's get our planes and play our land. Whoops. Dire Fleet's good. They're gonna have um, 
removal and stuff, and that's going to be cool. Been able to, like, use his dismembers against him. Seems alright. here I'm sure yep seems good I don't know if I'm supposed to just rando the manic vandal out here for value I don't think so Masher. Another thought not, sure. Ooh, baby boy. Shut down Pia. Just makes it a blocker again, as far as I'm concerned. Weird how it doesn't let me eat where the blockers. There it goes. No, it doesn't. Okay. You are cross. What's up? <laughs> I'll try and bring some quality gameplay. I don't know that that's gonna happen. Shut down ether vial with it. That's weird. You're giving me the card, my boy. Smarter than me. Yeah, you're right. I just still I want to be able to try and put them in front of the opponent. 
because sometimes ooh, sometimes they decide poorly It's not bad, it's just, it's a little goofy right now. Deck's making me work a little bit harder than I wanted it to make me work. Let's put another Magi down. We want the mag is down because I just really don't want him to have access to like all his dust and if he was sandbagging another Tron piece that would have been bad for us. Yeah, those ballista activations helped us quite a bit here. He's choosing not to attack, that's fine. That's totally reasonable for us. We're just going to hang back. We're potentially looking at as an all is dust coming down next turn, so I just want to not overextend if I have the ability to. Lear, what's up? Smasher, sure. Since the Smasher in. See here. <sighs> okay. So let's turn off the auto yields here for a second. here, blocking here, and then blocking here.
This guy's taking forever. Come on, let's play. Jesus, dude. Alright. I was gonna tech edge him off the of land anyway. What is like I think we change anything. I think we just need to draw better. I think I'm really missing this third copter. I think that's the part that's really hard for me. We want that third copter back. Right, we'll keep this. It's probably the most reasonable hand we've had this whole league. Plays a spell or oh my gosh, yes, yes. Alright. We got you, opponent. We got you. <laughs> we got you. Yep. You could play Mattery Shaper, but that's not gonna be good enough, I don't think. Got you. <laughs> Arch mentor got you. He got you, he got you, he got you. So that could be a thought knots here. It's a basilisk color. Okay. That's right. You did it. You put it on there. You've done it. Ghost quarter off the top. Show me a ghost quarter. One time, show me a ghost quarter. about the ballista. I care more about the basilisk color. Okay, sure. We can do here in just a moment. Sure. Plays another expedition map. Right. I think we got them. I think he's dead. I don't think he can play enough spells to get out from underneath this. Okay. 
No, because then he prevents two more damage that way. I did that main phase so that he couldn't put the ballista in front of a creature and then block and then sack it on another. I just was looking to get as much damage output as possible. Yeah, I mean, he can definitely, like, cracking a ghost quarter kills him. Um, what else? So, like, yeah, like, if he cracks a ghost quarter, that puts him at five. If he paid two and then tried to search, that puts him at five and tapped out. So, yeah, Harsh Mentor did a lot of work there. Here's our next card. Mother Thalia. Okay. He lost more life that way though. He doesn't he doesn't gain life. He gained a life but then took four. So he didn't get to prevent a block. He didn't get to block two and deal one and kill a creature. That's way more value for him. Uh yeah, we'll open the treasure chest. Cool. Forty play points. Just what I've always wanted. Um, so, yeah, the deck is definitely <laughs> interesting. It needs a little bit more work. So let's, let's talk about it here real quick. Let me turn this music off. Okay, um, here's the things I observed. P and Karen Millar are nuts. I don't know if we missed the second resto. We might. Yeah, LT Glitter is saying the same thing. We might want that second one. Um, whoops. I think you're right. I think it's very close to that. The Maguses are good. Like, they're not bad. They're just, I think this is where our Eldrazi Displacer is. Like, it's doing the same homework there. And then, let's take... Um, I really do miss the third Big Thalia. She does quite a bit of work. I don't know how I would make room for her, but, like, her, her being in the deck is a huge, huge piece. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dyer. I don't know how many it's supposed to be is the thing. That is like the question that I don't know the answer to. And I think I missed the third copter. I think copter's the glue that held the backbone of this deck together. Um, and that's some homework I'm going to have to figure out here relatively soon. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a hard one to really pin it down. Yeah, we did see Dire Fleet. Dire Fleet did some work today. It did a Thought Seize at one point. Um, last night I had it do a Natural State against Affinity. Um, today we also had it uh, use a um, Skull Crack. Um, I'm not playing a lot of copies, so I don't know if that's right or wrong. And that's something that maybe needs to be addressed. Um, but I didn't want to draw it too many times. You're like swapping mentors and dire fleets. I feel like the dire fleet, and that's what I would look at moving forward is what percentage of the meta has guaranteed spells in it, and what percentage of the meta has guaranteed activated abilities, and then those would flop back and forth or whatever as needed. But I do like them being like these are really good reasons to be in the red splash. Which one should be main deck and how many? That I don't know. This one I like it a lot more because its actual stats are fine. Like a two one. First striker for two is fine. That a lot of the times is going to have an upside that I can flicker when it has an upside that's relevant again. So I want to keep testing it to find out. Uh, the Mog Fanatics, I'm not sure. 
like they have a reason or an application um they might not be good enough i don't know i mean this is really in here honed in for like the um humans and affinity type stuff which we haven't really seen we played a ton of death shadow and tron just now um so i don't know i'm not going to move that yet i'm, I'm going to pretty much put the deck at to like what I, I feel and then i'm going to make some adjustments over the next couple of days but it's it's getting pretty close like these are the cards i want oops these are the cards i want now it's finding what's right what's got to go where's the proper shaves like what cards make up for adding these other cards and yada 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 the side where i'm not sold on i don't know these have been actually really good I played this against affinity yesterday and just cleaned it up got it to the point where i wiped their board they drew an edge champion and then they could never attack with the edge champion because it would have just died to the back side of this path of metal no i actually really and this is the argument a lot of people get into with me um, I really think three rip wisp is correct and I'm not going to spend too much time on it we got a couple minutes so I can share with you but like you don't want a lot of these double casting cost things in your deck P and care in the Lar is going to be worthwhile because by the time we would hit four lands or have a vial like it we can plan on this and we know when to use it wisp is just there as a protection piece like it's a an emergency button it's a very powerful card it's not the most important card in our DNT decks anymore. And having a very easy castable deck is very, very important. Very, very important. As we've seen now with Magus of the Moon, like the more we struggle to find like double white, that's more percentage points of games we're losing. So it only happened, I think, twice today with like really awkward starts, but um, I definitely want to see that maybe move away from the deck. Also, we're getting closer to like really, really human heavy. So there's a chance that we could start playing um, Cavern in here soon. If if we find ourselves in a spot where it's like our only non-creature spells are like Leon and Arbiter and Wisp and everyone else is a human, like I might just jam um, a couple Caverns in here. Well, Resto doesn't count. Again, the four drops don't count on part of that. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I think uh, we're getting close, though. Um, I don't like Displacer because even though Displacer is quote-unquote good and does some work, like that's too many bad interactions in the deck together. That's too many cards between Magus and then the Leon and Arbiters and whatnot. Like, there's just too many things that are trying to fight against the deck itself. We already have to fight against the opponent and the Shuffler, uh, so don't want to do that. No, Dire Fleet's really, really good. Like, anybody here, please, before we wrap up, can somebody just echo on me, like, from what you saw? Did you like or dislike Dire Fleet, Daredevil? I mean, we cast Ancient Stirrings, we cast the Thought Seas, we cast um, a, a Skull Crack. What else did we cast? Um, we've always had options with it. And again, its body has been relevant. Even though, like, one of the times... I flickered it and didn't get to use a spell. Like, I put a two on first striker down against burn reasonably, almost guaranteed every turn. All right, you guys are sold on Harsh Mentor. I've played with Harsh Mentor before in the main deck, and we did not do well. Harsh Mentor is not good in the main deck. The matchups you bring it in, it's insane. That's why I commit it to three in the board. But um, in reality, like it's it's a really, really rough two drop when it doesn't do anything. There's a chance like if Mog Fanatic just continues to be like just atrocious, like it could go back to just more Thraven Inspectors or it could become Grim Lava Mancers. I played Grim Lava Mancer before, and it was good, but again, I was on heavy Smuggler's Copters, so I was tossing my bad cards to give fuel for Grim Lava Mancer, and then I was playing a pair of Arid Mesas, I think. Like, I think these were Arid Mesa. 
so that I could have more ways to just like fetch and put stuff in the yard. No, Wisp was definitely great, but look at what happened when we went into red. We got P and Karen Nalar. We still have the restos up top. Um, we have more efficient things that help us get things out of the way. We're playing our opponent's removal spells against their creatures. Like, the evasion thing is still important, but we're losing one copy. It's not like I cut the card from the deck, you know? Like, the deck is still aggressive. The things that made this feel a lot more difficult, in my opinion, was losing Thalia. Losing Thalia Heretic Cathar was a huge, huge problem. That's a card I think I needed to get back to three copies on. Um, and like I said, we'll, I'll find the spots to shave. Like, that won't be hard. And it probably is, like, simple as, like, a Daredevil going away and maybe chopping into, like, the one-drop slot a little bit. But it's not hard. I tried Bomat. Bomat's not very good. Bomat requires you to have already depleted your hand, it to actually start swinging and connecting and stacking up cards for it to ever become relevant. It's cute when it's good. It's really bad when it's bad. It will not give you uh, gas against those decks. Those decks are going to just immediately look at when the exchange is good for you and make sure that they get rid of it before that happens. I think we need the Blade Splicers. I hate being in that camp, but Blade Splicers have actually pulled us out of a lot of really problematic games. I'm going to leave it like this right now with 63 cards in the deck, knowing that some potentials are we need to shave some actual spells. There's a chance Arid Messes and Cavern of Souls are uh, you know, in the running to get into this deck. The sideboard, for the most part, has been fine. We might have to make some changes. Manic Vandal was the nut. I never knew this card could be so good. But, yeah, so I'm going to say it one last time. If there's anyone here who doesn't already follow, please go ahead and hit follow. Or, you know, go to my YouTube channel give me a sub there. The more support we get, the better. The more input that we have like this. Oh, like, um, sorry, real quick. Like, we might want the Abraid. That was another conversation. I went with Manic Vandal over Abraid just because it was an actual dude that we could flicker and res resume value. But a braid's not off the table either. Like, these could even become a braid, potentially. Sorry. But anyway, um, yeah, please hit us up. Give me some support. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, there's a chance we can get another stream going again sometime this week. But the only way for you to know and find out for sure is to follow and put your notifications on so you can be in the loop. But I think we can do some good work with this deck. I think we can... We can make it happen. We can get it there. All right. Well, it's been fun. I hope you guys had a blast. We ended up 3-2. Um, that Death Shadow one just felt like a fluke. And then the other one was just a straight-up loss. I can't remember what we played against, but I think it was one of the Tron matchups. But anyway, I'm going to roll on out of here. Love you guys. Catch you later. Peace.